So recently I got my hands on the new M4 Mac Mini and as a PC user I was just curious what is this Apple computer capable of? What's a computer? I won't bore you much with the specs and what ports it has because there's plenty of videos on YouTube and you probably already saw those. But I must say I'm really impressed with the compact form factor. It will take up a lot less space on any desk. So it just makes sense. So in the box we do not get much at all. It is basically the Mac Mini itself and the power cable. Not even an Apple sticker anymore. Well, I guess it's good for the environment, but it is what it is. Oh yeah, and apparently the whole thing is carbon neutral now. So good job, Apple. Anyhow, on to the next step, which is setting up the Mac Mini for the first time. But before that, we actually need to turn it on. And for that, we need to do the following. All right, so just to turn on the Mac Mini, we actually need to get under the machine. So I think the best method to do that is basically... I wanted to include the setup part as this machine is my very first Apple product that has a Mac OS. And maybe there are some of you from the viewers that are thinking about buying the same thing and want to know how it is to use this in real life. After all, for a very competitive price of $600 or £600 in the UK here because we got to pay more tax. Yay! Apparently we can get a very competitive machine that is currently with today's tech it is not possible to remake to be as fast as this thing. So now that everything is set up I immediately want to test something uh, interesting that I saw the other day. Basically a Reddit post told me that one of the quickest tests I could do is selecting all the installed applications and start them at the same time. The result of this, well, as you can see, I must say it looks like it can handle it without any issues and switching between them works like a charm as well. But I'm actually going to redo this test now, but this time I'm going to do it with the apps that I will be using on this little machine, such as DaVinci Resolve, Photoshop, a little bit of Blender and other creative programs. Hmm, not bad. I'm impressed. It handles it and it's snappy. Now, obviously, I would never use any of my computers like this. I mean, this is an extreme multitasking lever here. But for example, I would probably use a web browser with a couple of tabs open, DaVinci, maybe an audio recorder at the same time. And as you can see, it has no issues with it. CPU and memory usage is quite low. It only spikes up a little bit when I'm trying to render something. Also, I'm running Apple log footages from an external SSD and the timeline in DaVinci Resolve is smooth as ever. Now, let's see a little bit of Blender. I do like to use this program from time to time, although I still got to learn a lot. And the result of using Blender, well, let's just say you're not going to use big projects with this. I mean, small files are fine, but hey, the base version is not strong enough. One thing I will never do on this probably is gaming. I mean, I got a much beefier machine for that if I want to play. Speaking of, this beauty here has been with me for quite a few years now. I mean, I use the same case for almost 10 years now, but obviously I have upgraded the internals over the years, which I might just do again very soon. So maybe you could subscribe if you want to see that. Anyhow, back to the Mac Mini. So to be honest with you, I'm not really interested in benchmark results because those never really tell the actual potential of any PC or Mac or anything. But just in case any of you are interested, I will leave a couple of results here so you can face your eyes upon them.
So yeah, this is all nice and for the money it's a very awesome little machine. But and there is a big but and I just cannot go without mentioning it, which is upgradeability of this machine. It's horrendous. Apple's pricing to upgrade any compartment in this is just astronomical. I mean 200 chichingos for 256 gig? What the f No, I I'm just gonna say it now. If you are planning to buy the base model, do not upgrade any parts of it. It is not worth it. I mean, if you are already going to for the base model, then you are probably gonna be just fine with the 16 gig of RAM. And for the money that you would pay for storage, you can easily get a lot bigger external SSD, which would work just as good as the internal one. I read articles as well somewhere that you can even transfer most of your stuff from the Mac Mini to an external drive and it would work still just as fine. Meaning that you can also install the application on an external SSD and it will run just fine. If you really want to upgrade it, you might as well just go for the M4 Pro version and place for the love of God, do not upgrade the base model. I mean, seriously, I do not understand Apple's scheme here and I strongly believe someone needs to do something about it. Right, enough rumbling from my part. Time will tell if this little thing will make me angry about something else as well or, or not. These are just my initial thoughts and I will probably make a follow-up video in the future about how is it like to use this machine after half a year or maybe a year. We'll see. But this particular model, the base model, is quite unbeatable at the moment for what you pay for. Anyhow, I hope you found some useful info from this and if you did, please leave a like down below. My name is Tori and I will catch you in the next one.